What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Got another video coming out right away uh, the next day following my last one. I uh, incorporated in that last video that you should update to the latest version of VitaShell 1.98. And uh, this is just going to be a little installation video for VitaShell 1.98 directly so you guys can just get it when you need it or whatever. Uh, my last video was how to display the PlayStation Vita on your PC screen and uh, record and all that fun jazz. So you can go check that video out. Just put it up yesterday, like I said. And uh, without further ado, let's dive into this. So on your Vita, connect your USB to your Henkaku Enzo or your HN Core uh, PS Vita running the custom firmware 365 or the exploit on 368 and hit select. Uh, card instead of my SD to Vita adapter if I'm using one uh, just to not have corrupt data uh, be a possibility and simply all we're going to do is just drag and copy this Vita shell 1.98 the link will be below in the description and uh, just drop that over like so allow that to copy and call it a day so now I'm just going to exit USB mode and we're going to go to the Vita screen and I'll show you what to do from there Okay, so here we are at the Vita, and uh, I'm just going to open this up here and scroll down to my current Vita show, which is actually the current version, so I won't actually be updating uh, with this. So there's a couple of ways that you can go about this. Uh, one way is uh, basically if uh, you have a secondary program or a third-party program, I should say. Um, for an example, I have this... Uh, TF card reader here, uh, which if I open this up, which is the TF tool that I use in my other video about how to use the SD to Vita adapter, this has a file manager on it, and uh, circle is uh, confirm and X is to go back because this is a Japanese version, uh, but you can see that I have the different uh, aspects here. So you can install the new version of Vita Shell from that, or you can install it directly from Vita Shell. Uh, which if you go to Vita Shell and start that up. Now, like I said, I put this on my memory stick and I'm using an SD to Vita adapter. So uh, currently what I'm going to do is select my UMAO because I have my memory stick swapped for external storage and my SD to Vita as my primary. And uh, we're just gonna go and scroll down and you will see the Vita Shell 1.98 VPK. If you hit X on that, Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, X. Why is it coming up like that? There we go. All right, so do you want to install the package? Then you just hit yes. And then when it's done, all you're going to do is hit start and say restart Vita Shell. And once you're done with that, it goes and reboots the whole program and you'll be updated to 1.98. And that's pretty much it. So. Thanks for watching. Rank on and subscribe. Watch my other video if you want to see how to display this on the PC. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So stay tuned for more videos. I'll talk to you guys later.